friend of ours called up and says, Hey, I read in this magazine that this uh, Sylvester Stallone is making a movie about arm wrestling, and they're going to actually have a tournament. In 1986, we were at the over-the-top um, competition when they may actually made that movie. And you had to win regionals, and then you qualified to go to the Worlds. And at that time, it was supposed to be, it was, it was by far the largest arm wrestling tournament that had been around. They said there was like between 1,000 and 1,100 contestants. And there's so many qualifiers around the United States, and I, I don't remember if there was 5, 10, 12, whatever. You had to go to one of those qualifiers, and I don't know if you had to take first or first and second or maybe top three. I don't remember exactly. And then you would qualify to go to Vegas for the big finale. And so the one that was closest for us was in Chicago. We drove over there. It's about 550 miles for us. And they had the regular weight classes, but then they had a truckers division because they were giving away a semi-tractor for this big grand prize. But you had to have a commercial driver's license, which I had. I won my class handily. I mean, I had been lifting weights. I felt strong. I was, you know, good and felt good. And man, I just went through them like butter. So we got to go out to uh, Vegas. My mom and dad went along. Uh, my brother-in-law went. My wife, of course. And that's the referee says, ready? And you tell him no, then you can move. Ready? That's a false start. What now? And then Sylvester Stallone was there at the time, and he was married to Bridget Nielsen. And they had 10, 12 arm wrestling tables going. It was a huge event. And it was held at the old... Hilton uh, in Vegas. ridiculous because we started at maybe 9 or 10 in the morning pulling and they would pull for a while and then all of a sudden they would stop and then they would have Sylvester Stallone come in and they would do some filming for the movie and I mean pretty soon you know they did this and did that and it would it just took forever pretty soon they're hauling food in because people are hungry you didn't know whether you should leave or not because if you left and then they called your name to go up to arm wrestle you'd get a, a loss, so you didn't dare lose, or leave.
was very nervous, you know, I was like this, and I was very paying a, a lot of attention to him. And somebody came up beside me, and they said, who is this, or who is, he f who is it, where is he from, and kept asking me questions. And I thought, I'm watching. I didn't pay much attention, and I answered questions, but I wasn't rude or, you know, impolite or anything. And Rich won, and so I was yay, and we went back up to the stands and got back up to the people we were with, and they said, oh, you were talking to Sylvester Stallone. What did he say? What did he say? And I says, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention to him. I was concentrating on Rich. I ended up taking uh, third place in the truckers division. I actually made it through my bracket and I met John Berzink and John gave me my first loss and then I had to go back against uh, Ed Arnold and I had beat Ed Arnold earlier but it was such a tough pull. My arm was felt like a noodle even when I went against John I just had nothing left. Cleve Dean was there. Cleve Dean walks in there. I'm in the hallway and they had this huge platform scale for him to step on because this man is huge. He steps on the platform scale and the dial goes 609. The man weighed 609 pounds. That tells you how big the man was. Super nice guy. Just a giant of a man. His hand, I mean, I got pretty good sized hands and I shook hands with Cleve and I thought I stuck my hand in a ball glove. It was, <laughs> I felt like a child. It was a tournament <laughs> for the ages, you know. I mean, there was a lot of talent there. A lot of, if you were a good puller, you were there. I mean, the best of the best in America was there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> 